Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Foodish Beauty. If you're new, my name is TJ and I upload weekly videos on beauty, travel, fashion and food. So if these are the videos you love to watch, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button and you would absolutely make my day. Today I have a luxury high-end beauty haul slash what's new in beauty video for you guys. Now there have been a lot of new launches for the spring season within the beauty community, especially with websites like Space and Kate, Sephora, Feel Unique and Cold Beauty doing different deals and different launches. I have been accumulating quite a few new things to share with you guys. Some of these things I have been able to try out for a few times throughout the past few weeks as they slowly trickle into my collection. So hopefully I'll be able to give you some first impressions and reviews on some of these products as well. It is going to be a long one I'm afraid so please do get yourself comfortable, maybe grab a cup of tea and we'll kick straight in. I think I'm going to start with my actual Sephora purchases first and get them out of the way. So the first thing I have here is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is a much hyped about palette and this is what it looks like. I have been able to use it several times and I'm going to show you a product shot of the actual swatches on my arm as well. If you follow me on Instagram you probably will have seen a micro blog about it on one of my pictures so please don't forget to check that if you want to know what I really think about this palette. I am not planning to do a very detailed review of this palette purely because there are just so many out there on YouTube already but I do love the colour selection of this palette and if you're on the market for a kind of peachy summery palette but still want to stay in the neutral zone then this is a great palette to buy. I also got another eyeshadow palette from Tarte and this is the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. First of all, I absolutely adore the packaging, it's so beautiful and elegantly designed. The product within though is what really drew me to it because this is an actual vegan eyeshadow palette which is so brilliant because for those of you who don't know I'm actually highly allergic to an ingredient prevalent in cosmetics called carmine. Now these are tiny little beetle bugs that are crushed up to produce the red pigment within cosmetics. You, I know, I am highly highly allergic to this ingredient. So the fact that this palette is vegan is a big plus plus for me. I'm wearing this beautiful silvery taupe wave all across my eyelids and then to define my socket I'm wearing this matte warm brown called Cove. It's a great everyday neutral palette. All of the colour selection is beautiful. They have also changed the formula of their eyeshadows for this palette. Everything feels a bit firmer and also a bit wetter so it has more of a cream eyeshadow feeling so that makes all of the eyeshadows more pigmented and has less fallout as well which is right up my alley so I absolutely love this palette. This is a limited edition however so if you do see it on Sephora's website still, grab it, you won't regret, I promise. Also from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection, I picked up this double-ended lip brush. On one end you have a thinner, more defining, retractable brush. And then on the capped end you have more of a rounded top lip brush. It's very useful for kind of defining your lips to blend in your lip liners or just do a really beautiful ombre lips for the summer. Next up also from Sephora, I picked up this Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade Devotion. This is their face illuminator which I was absolutely obsessed with if you remember last summer and I bought the shade Indiscretion. They have just recently came out with three different shades I believe and this shade Devotion is right up my street for sure. I love these shimmery pearly pinks for highlighter because I have a very fair cool toned skin. This Devotion shade also reminds me very much of the Dior Glowing Skin highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. So if you missed out on that one then this will be a really good dupe for it. I will say this is quite a shimmery highlighter and it's not as finely milled as their Baked Highlighter 01. So if you're on the market for something that's a bit more subtle then this might not be for you. I am wearing this today on the top of my cheekbone so you can see it's not too overtly shimmery during the day but on the spotlight the shimmer and the glitter will be slightly more detectable. And the very last few items I picked up from Sephora were these Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. There were so many to choose from and I managed to pick four of them. So the first shade I have here is Honeycomb. This is a really beautiful warm beige nude. The second one I picked out was Pepper and this is a really pretty dusty rose which is suitable for all skin tones. Following that I have Chai. This is yet another universally very flattering shade. It's a very warm spicy rose. And the last one I picked out was Molasses and this is a very beautiful toffee brown with quite a lot of red undertone. 
Vita Beauty and these Bouche lines seem to all have a semi-matte finish and they all have a really sweet lemony scent as well. They also claim to be all made with food grade ingredients so when you do lick your lips um, it tastes quite sweet. This is my first experience with Vita Beauty lipsticks and so far I would say so good. And now onto some more products I picked up from some UK retailers but also available at Sephora if you're from the US or Canada. The first thing I picked up was this Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour highlighter in the shade Aura. Now if you follow me on Instagram you probably will have seen quite a glossy picture of this highlighter and it definitely deserved all the attention I lavished on it. You probably know my obsession with pearly pink highlighters by now and this one is just that much more special because it has more of a lilac and rose shift to it. It's just so so pretty. It is quite finely milled and it has far less shimmery particles than the Laura Mercier Devotion highlighter I just showed you guys. So if you're after a pale pink kind of cool toned highlighter but don't want the glitter this will be quite a good alternative. Also from Urban Decay, I picked up four more of their 24 hour glide on lip pencils. I absolutely adore the Urban Decay lip pencils. They're so creamy and so buttery. They glide on so easily like the name suggests and they last for a long time. Prior to this, I only had the shade 1993, so this time I really stocked up. So the first shade I picked out was Stark Naked and this matches their matte revolution lipstick in the shade Stark Naked. And this is just a really great beige nude. And then I picked up the shade Naked 2. This is just a deeper, more peachy nude. And the third nude shade I picked up was Deep and this is just a deeper, more peachier, brownie nude. And then the final shade I picked up was Liar and this is a more of a dusty mauve shade. I know they're probably coming across quite similar on camera right now, but I promise you they all look quite different in real life and I love them all. Also available from all large UK retailers as well as Sephora is this YSL Touche Claire Neutralizer, which I bought in the shade 03 Violet. This is a violet colour corrector which um, corrects dull and sallow skin tone and it is really great for oriental skin tones. It does come out slightly more on the peachy and pinker side, but it does really brighten. Next, with a lot of my birthday vouchers, I picked up some real treats from YSL. I picked up three of the new Rouge Voluptu Shine lipsticks, um, two of which are their new spring shades, and then also two of the original Rouge Voluptu SPF lipsticks. I think I would love to do a collection and review video for these, so please let me know if you want to see that. But for now, I'm just going to go through the colours with you. So I'm going to go through with the Rouge Volupt Shine lipsticks first. Um, the first shade I picked out was 09 and this is a really pretty peachy nude. It's what I'm wearing right now on top of the Urban Decay Naked 2 lip pencil. It's such a great combination. And the next shade is number 47. It does look quite similar to the shade number 9 but it has more of a white and pink base. The third Rouge Volupt Shine lipstick I picked out was number 48 and this is a really beautiful smoky plum colour. These are two luxury items. I probably wouldn't have picked them up without my birthday vouchers, but I have to say I really love them. They're all quite pretty sheer, but they're very buildable and the scent is absolutely amazing and the packaging is beyond this world gorgeous. These next two are from the original Rouge Volupt lipstick line and they have SPF 15 within them. They're much more pigmented than the Rouge Volupt shine lipsticks that I just showed you, which are more like tinted lip balms but they are equally as moisturising and nourishing on your lips. The first shade I have here is number 3, Ultimate Beige, and this is just a really beautiful, warm, rosy nude. Following that, I have the shade number 13 called Peach Passion, and it's a very pretty pastel peach, which is perfect for the spring-summer season. I almost forgot to tell you all about this Benefit Chicason palette. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably will have seen it all over my Snapchat this past week. And it is just such a pretty palette and it's really great value. In here, you get five of Benefit's top selling blushes. You get Rocketeur, which is my all time favorite Benefit blush. And Hula is a beautiful bronzing contour. Dandelion is my all time favorite pale pink blush. And these two, Thalys and Coralista, I haven't got uh, 
within my own collection, but they're definitely worth getting. This palette is going for £44.50 from Benefit, as well as House of Fraser and Sephora if you're in the US, which is great value because even one of these blushes would set you back £24. These are all full-size blushes, so it's definitely worth the value. You also get a little brush as well, which is very cute. This whole palette comes out itself, so once you finish with the blushes, you will end up with quite a cute little jewellery box as well. So for value for money, I think this is definitely one of the best palettes this spring. And finally, we're on to the last items, and it's these Jouer Lip Creme Liquid Lipsticks. They were available from cultbeauty.com, they were sold out for quite a while, and then they were restocked, and I totally pounced on them. So going from light to dark, the first one I have here is Melon, and this is a very pretty pink beige with a warm peach undertone. Second one along I have Lychee and this is a very girly dusty pink. And the third one I picked up is Petal de Rose. It is very similar to Lychee but it's just slightly more pink and deeper. Following that is my favourite shade from the whole range and it is Noisette. This is a stunning, stunning burnt hazelnut shade. It is universally flattering and it's so neutral and really unique. Last but not least is Cassie's and this is a really classy muted berry shade. Although it is a muted shade, I still think it is quite a bright and playful shade to wear during spring and summertime. So on Snapchat, a lot of you guys have requested me to do a worth the hype video on these lip cremes and I would absolutely love to do that for you guys. The only thing is I'm just not too sure when I'll get around to do it. So for the time being, I absolutely think these are worth the hype and my shade recommendations are Melon, Lychee and Noisette. So that about wraps up this marathon of a beauty haul. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. As per usual, please also find me on all other social media platforms under the name Foodish Beauty so we can chat a bit further. Also, please don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know which beauty products you've been loving lately this spring or indeed which beauty products you loved from this haul. I would love to find out more. Thank you ever so much for watching, my friends. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye now. <laughs> He's just concentrating on the food. He cannot possibly look at anything else but the food on the floor.